Hello and welcome everybody to an ultra secretive episode of Carlin Brothers Box Breakers, or as we like to call it, CBQ. Or do we? We, we do, yeah. It's been, yeah, confirmed. From yeah, well, that was, maybe that was the secret. That's, uh. As ever, let's take a quick look at the rules. Jay and I will be opening a booster pack from the latest collection. Any rare cards, cards that feature a star, score points. Scoring is very simple. We head on over to the current price list on TCG Player and determine your rare card or card's value. That value is rounded up to the nearest whole number. But the fun doesn't stop there. Each week, we'll also spin the wheel of energy to determine this episode's type advantage. If the energy in your pack matches the type advantage, then your entire pack gets a two times multiplier. And you get an additional point for each mon of that type in your pack. Lastly, there are also three randomly chosen common chase cards that are worth one additional point each. So if your energy card matches the type advantage, you pull two randomly chosen common chase cards and your rare card is worth $3.75, that will be rounded up to four plus two points for the common chase cards gives you six points times two for the energy and your final score is 12. And now it is time for the secret wheel of energy, the which is just like the regular wheel of energy, except I added the word secret in front of it. Because it's the finale, so we gotta have some extra flair. What is gonna be the final one? I gotta tell you, based on the common chase cards, you better hope it's salad. It's been, I've been aiming for fireball all season. I've been aiming, it feels like we're new. It's about time. And like and I said, it's salad. salad, just like I predicted, which is great because today's randomly chosen common chase cards are Snover, Sprigatito, and Palipper. Palipper! Exactly, just like that. I Today like to, is the finale, Ben. I know. I would like to grant the Pokemon Company use of my of my voice in case they ever want to use Pelipper sound okay. for uh, future Pokemon. Right. If, if you're in legal at Pokemon uh, International, just reach out to us and we'll license you out that voice and you can at use no it. At, yeah, for free. For free. For we'll, free. We'll throw that one to you. Yeah, we'll just we'll throw it right at you. You're welcome. <laughs> Duck. Oh man, so we have a lot happening, a lot on the line today. All season we have had Carly in first place with 97 points. Right now sitting in eighth place is Charcopple with 30 points. Then uh, down at the bottom of the leaderboard, what do we got? Hang on, bottom of the leaderboard in Four. last place currently. Two packs, two points is Aiden. Two packs, two points is Aiden. That's crazy. And then for the Big Steve Award. Hang on, let's see here. Do, 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 do. Big Jake. Big Steve! Big Steve. Hannah, uh, Elizabeth H, and Caitlin are all tied with 14 points at three packs. So they're gonna have to do a little bit of math at the end to figure out who has the exact point totals needed to take home the big prizes. Uh, I will tell you that we do have a bit of a, a, a bit of a mix-up here. We actually ran out of booster boxes, if you can believe it. So we have cobbled together four ETBs worth of boxes for today's finale. So I feel like I feel like the carp and the Iono are just like there's like four bites of the apple. I know, I know. So normally we only have the singular bite at the apple, just the one, you know, this one. That one. And instead, somehow, some way, I don't really know why, it feels like four ETBs like changes the game a little bit. Right. It really shouldn't at all. It, sh it shouldn't at all. I mean, it's all it's all largely random, yeah. but like there was something odd about assembling it. There was, you know. So we're gonna see what goes down today. As a reminder, we have not pulled the Magic Carp. We have not pulled any Iono all season. Could today? Could the finale be today? Because you know what? I think it is. Also, do we need to change the Eevees? No, 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 no. We almost got through it. The thing was, I was dropping stuff, expensive stuff at that. And these small little puck lights that sit up there, he has to move them every time, one fall on the floor. A lot of times after we're done recording, we forget to put them back in the charger base, then we come in to record, I'm like, ah oh, man, we forgot to recharge the puck lights. <sighs> All right. Hey, Leafster. First up today is going to be Anna who is coming in today with 13 points. So Anna wants but a single point out of this pack, which uh, I want to say could be pretty tricky uh, given the uh, type of, although it was, have we had salad before? Is there oh, actually yeah. not that much grass? We have had salad a couple of times. I think it's a pretty strong one actually. Yeah, it was set. psychic. Psychic's the one there's not a lot of. Yes, correct. Okay, so we got the metal energy for Anna right off the top. We got the Gothita, the Meryl, the Wingle. Pineco scores. Pineco. Oh, good point, good save. The Giacomo, the Talonflame, boring. The Heracross will score, the Mischievous will not score, the Calamitous Wasteland will not score. Oh, oh a Pikachu EX! It feels like a good omen that Pikachu 
Pikachu's the very first one. It does indeed, and I feel like we haven't, I don't think we've seen that Pikachu this I'm year not sure so we have far. Either. It's a unique card, $1.09, so, so two, two points. Four points on the day, unfortunately not gonna land at Big Steve territory, but instead at 17, so no podium positions for Anna, but she gets a Pikachu. There we go. Well Headed done. your way, Anna. Headed your way. Next up, we've got Aaron B, who has got 11 points. So another potential uh, Big Steve contender if they can land at a three-point a three-point pack here. That seems pretty reasonable given uh, what we've got lined up there. You don't need that. You want that one fireball. So <sighs> no, that's actually a good thing because that would push you over three, probably. Probably. You would not be able to get three. With, you would, with, yeah, with the double. With yeah, the you're double. Right, yeah. The mosh shift, the, the pine coat. That's a good start. The Merrill, the Vigoroth, the Pink Kirch, and the Crocolor. The Iona. That's so going to that, push you it, over because yeah. that's three points right there. The Deanna does not score. And then the, the Hariyama. But it's going to be four points instead of the three. So very close. Going to bring you to 15 on the season for Aaron B. But you do get the reverse. Reverse hollow Iono. I was gonna say, solid. yeah, all things being equal, like one of the things we don't account for in this show is reverse hollows are sometimes worth like a little bit more. So they, they actually could change up the scoring just a little bit, but it becomes far too complicated to like track every single, you know, additional reverse hollow. So, uh, but that's a good pull. Yeah. All right, next up we've got Hogrid at eight points on the season. All right, Hogrid. Hogrid looking for a six point pack here or something massive. Absolutely massive. You know, and that's that's what I would love to see happen today. It's just like a big disruption, you know, right. like something I mean, huge. Although Carly, you know, must be sitting there with every pack holding her breath. Absolutely. Can she hang on for one more episode? We got the Mayhee, the Deli Bird, the Super Rod, the Love Disc, the Grafii, the Satitan, the Faulkner, the Gotharita will not score, the Gothita will not score, and the Wiggly Tough. Wow, man. just a single point there for nine on the season for Hogrid. Not what they were hoping for, but. That's the game. Next season, Pokemon 151, you guys. It is coming. It is dropping next week as we're recording this, and I am psyched. I know that we have very limited spaces currently available for the October season. It is a one month season, and it yes. is definitely like the one you want to be in on. This so if is. you've been like on the fence, if you're like, I just want to do one month of box breakers, that's the month to do it. There you go. All right, next up we have Faith, who is coming in with five points on the season. So looking for maybe a nine point pack here. That seems like a lot of people are going to be looking for that big Steve. Uh, award, but even if they land at 14, they have to then be the low card, low rare card value. Bam, Rock is pummeling energy. The Larvitar, the Deanna, the Sandigas, the, the Tarantula will score, the Pelipper, Pelipper will score. score, the Fletchinder will not, the Slowpoke will not, Sneasel, and oh, oh the Dedenne EX! There you go, I want to say that looks like a bulk EX, but you never know. You never Might know. Might be a two-pointer. We'll take a look here, number 93, yeah, 61 cents uh, for the Dedenne, so. Just a three-point pack, I'm afraid. Gonna bring you to eight on the season for Faith. However, we will sleeve it for you there, Faith. Keep it nice and safe as it makes its way from us to you. That's right, that's right. All right, next up, we've got A-Town. A-Town! A-Town coming in with four points on the season. Uh, this is, uh, as, oh, aug as of August 1st, uh, their wife is pregnant with their first baby. Congratulations! No oh my gosh, what a time. That is so exciting. Thrilled for you. We obviously both have kids ourselves. It is so much fun. It Enjoy. Is. Enjoy not sleeping. <laughs> the the Bramblin will score, the Kufant, the Crow Gunk, the Satoddle, the Palmo, the Tinkatuff, the Bravery Charm, sure. the Charcadet will not score, the Dunsparce will not score, and the Tyranitar. Tyranitar. Just going to be a two point pack. That is uh, three two point packs in a row for A Town. So he's going to finish with six points on the season. If you're looking for a good uh, first name, though, Tyranitar. Tyranitar. Seems like a good omen. Yeah, that's a yeah. great name. For your uh, for your unborn child, boy or a girl? Yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, and if your last name is Town, as in a town, then it'd be Tyranitar Town. Tyranitar Town. T T T Town. T Town. There you go. All right, let's see. Oh, now we have a contender for last place here. It's okay. Aiden. This is Aiden. So this is kind of interesting okay. because, yeah, so Aiden, I believe, let's see here. Aiden is our last person who has two packs and only two points. Okay. Total rare card value of 37 cents. So Collard Cow, oh, but then I don't even think they can win because Collard Cow has three packs and three points oh, at 37 right. cents. right. <gasps> wow, oh, so wow. Collard Cow might have already locked up last place. Might have done it, oh my gosh, that's how about that? I did not realize that those values were the same. Maybe we didn't know the last time we recorded. So that's pretty remarkable. And it'll be curious to see that if you're Aiden, uh, 
Do you just do you just jump entirely and be like, you know what, I'm gonna go for quality eighth I place know. instead? Going for quality eighth place, or maybe they're just gonna pull something massive here. They got the dark teardrop to start, the palmy, the larvitar, the sandy gas, the tarantula will score, the skip loom will score, so they would have missed it anyway. Palisan, superior energy, and the jump, jump off. off! There oh my you gosh. go. Ironically though, the jump off for somebody who was in that last place You're race, right. this is the lowest value card in the entire Man, set as far so as they, over they, is they did pull it in that way. So that's gonna be four points on that pack, right? Yes, because yeah. you'll get double for the jump plus. Yeah, double right. the jump plus. Yeah, so good, good eye, good eye. Six points on the season there for Aiden. Man, I think I think Colored Cow might have locked up last place already. I believe so. I think that that must be locked in because I don't think anybody else. There are a couple other people with two packs and three points, but if they pull anything, then they'll be out of the running entirely. So Joe right. Cathan and Ellie would be two people to look out for. There we go. All right. Well, next up we've got Lady Starlight. Lady Starlight. Lady Starlight comes in. Oh, now Lady Starlight's in an interesting position. They are at 12 points. Okay, so, so a two point pack would do it. A two point pack gets them in the running for. Oh, oh unfortunately. Well, not impossible. They, just, they would need mm. a regular. Well, now it is. It Let's bring it teed up. Although, not the, the not random, chase card. Yeah, so it is worth one point, but not two. Uh, so let's see here, the Luxio, the Mabastef, the Pupitar, the Sagaro, the Jigglypuff will not score, and the Bax Caliber will. will. So, so it's going to be one, two, times two is four, four points. Four points on the season. Very close to the Big Steve Award, unfortunately. Not going to quite make it there. That is going to land you at 16 on the season. There we go. Is that right? Yes. Yeah, 16. I can math. Math, math, math. Math, math, math. Next up, we've got Vicky. Vicky must be pretty high at the leaderboard right here. Yeah, 16 and 19, so 16 37 19. points overall. Okay, 35. Vicky is actually the highest place, per, has the greatest chance of anyone to take down Carly in terms of point differential. She is in fourth place right now with 35 points. That being said, she would need an over 60 point pack to catch up to Carly, which is more points than anyone all season has scored other than Carly. Other than Carly, yep. So that's that's absolutely fascinating. Uh, Pandito is the next per highest person on our list who only has two packs open so far with 23 points. So oh, man. Vicky really coming into the day was our, our top five contender that was still really like in it. So Okay, so doesn't I, uh, look like any sort of type advantage coming in here. I don't know what a hit. Yeah, I don't know or bust basically, or some sort of wild critical hit. The Orangaru, the Electra, the Love Disc, the Frigibax oh! is pretty solid, and the Glamora. So nice hit, but I don't think that Frigibax is going to carry it. But you got to say, let's see, what is the what is the point value on this? Let's see, two or eight. So they've uh, so this person has done 19 points and 16 points. So Man. really have not had a bad showing whatsoever. Great season all plenty, around. Plenty of people would kill for that particular slate. Number 208 on the set for the Frigibax is going be eight dollars 23 cents so nine ten so ten going to bring their total up to 45 points very solid second place right now gosh that would be first if not for carly and the crazy eight times multiplier oh my gosh vicky feeling so i mean what a great showing all season Absolutely. doing it the old-fashioned way not taking any shortcuts very impressive. Well done. And honestly, I mean, like as far as cards are concerned, this is just, I really love how colorful this I one know, is. I know, I love really that, that whole evolution line looks that way too. It's so cool. All right, well, well done to Vicky. Let's see, next up we have got Ellie, who is coming today with three points. So let's see how they do. They're gonna need something massive here. I mean, if they wanna get to Big Steve, they're gonna need 11 points on this pack. That's kind of an unusual number to hit, but I suppose not impossible. Not impossible. Dive the ball and energy. energy. Okay, got the Shrudel, the Phalanx, the Jigglypuff, the Tadbulb, the Gotharita, the Honchcrow, the Pseudo Wudo, the Satoddle, the Fighting Olay, and uh, the Caparaja. I want to say it's more of a bulk card and not an 11 point card. Let's see here. Yeah, number 150 on the set. Pretty cool looking Pokemon though, but yeah, 51 cents. Uh, so just, just a, a single, single point. point is going to equal four on the season for Ellie. I am loving how many uh, sleeved cards though that we've had come yeah. through so far. So a lot I mean, of good stuff uh, coming seems out of like these, the, these packs the today. ETBs are doing solid for us and plenty left to go. All right, next up we've got Moss Twig, who is coming to 24 points, so 24. also pretty high at the leaderboard. Yeah, okay, I may have actually jumped over Moss Twig before when I was scrolling and, and compared to Pandito, but okay. um, yeah, so Moss Twig, 24 points, so the, the, the actually the next highest okay. person. So yeah, just two packs. So now after Vicky, Moss Twig is our new most likely person to take down Carly. Or even jump into the, the quality eighth place spot. Oh, you're right. Really you only need 
need, I mean, uh, six would tie you with Charcopple. So. Oh, and here we go. Okay. We've got the grass energy, so six points seems pretty possible. The Charcadet, the Murkrow, the Mischievous, the Sneasel, the Raichu, the Gothitelle, the Arctabax, the Palmo, the, the Luminous Energy, and the Palm, oh wait, the Palmot. Nope, no critical hits, right? Oh my gosh, so I'm just close. Two. Oh, just no. two points. Oh, so close. Poor Moss Twig. 26 points for Moss Twig. Very solid showing. That's their best season ever, so they got to be happy with that. Whatever they pulled on the 20 point pack must have been pretty solid. All right, next up we have uh, Master Lauren here. Um, uh, Master Archivist, I want to say. They've got 15 points on the season so far, so they've already out. Uh, they've already gone past the Big Steve contention, unfortunately. Gonna need a double in order to hit uh, contention for quality eighth place. We got the got the metal energy. Yeah, the Relore scores. The Relore scores, the Tad Bulb, the Frigibax, the Tandem Mouse, the Flamigo, the Bombardier, the Skip Loom will scores. score, the Grusha will not score. The oh, critical hit! Oh, yes, critical hit with the Frigibax, there we go, and, and the, the slacking. slacking. So it's gonna be six? Six points, yep. yeah, look at that. So the Frigibax coming through, clutch for ya. There you go, got the six points. Points on the season. Uh, it's been a big Frigibax episode, hasn't it? It has, because we pulled that uh, the rare one as well. So it's going to be 21 points on the season for Lauren. That's pretty solid Goodness as well. Goodness gracious. I know, yeah, this this space in like the 20s, I'm, I'm blown away at how many people have like all landed in that same territory. I know. So if we want to mess up the eighth place race, what do we need? Um, up to, we need 31 points, right? Yeah, 31 points starts to mess with eighth place. So we're going to have to keep an eye on that. Next up we have... Lauren, not not Master Lauren, just Lauren. Lauren. Lauren, indeed. Uh, no, this is this is Lauren of her mom was on Wheel of Fortune fame. Ah, yes, of course, yes, of yeah. course. So we all know. know. Loves to play the chance. Indeed, they've got yeah. six points so far on the season. Looking for maybe an eight point pack here for Big Steve or something absolutely massive. Here we go. Right there we go. There's the multiplier, the Tinky Tink, the Pink Kerchin, the Makahita, the wrong carpet starting to taunt us. The Bramble Gas scores. The Toxicroak, the Crocator, the Gothitoe will not score, the Taurus will not score, and the no. Hydrajon. So uh, just a four point pack after the multiplier is applied for 10 on the season. Goodness Solid gracious. Solid effort employing the type advantage there, but doesn't quite make it. Next up, Ben, is Brooke. The Brooke. character you always want to look out for. Former season champion back in season three in Silver Tempest. Yeah, nothing would be more interesting than watching somebody go win more oh than gosh, one. Oh my gosh, more than one season? Unreal. Dynasty? The Giraffe, oh the Great Ball, the, the Relor 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 Relor, the Claxley, the Grusha, the Prime Apes, the Miss Magus, the Baxcalibur oh, will score, the Mousehold will not score. Oh, oh no, save a lot, so. I thought maybe I saw something, some shiny, some, some little but, glimmer, but alas, yeah. just three for Brooke, gonna come up on 10 on the season. That's perfectly acceptable. Very well done to Brooke. Brooke was trying to sneak up on that big Steve award. No doubt, no doubt. Next up we have Ethereal Squirrel. The most ethereal. The most ethereal squirrel. They have seven points, so they're still in big Steve contention here. Yep. And uh, you know, possibly eighth or first, I suppose, depending on the, the luck they have in this pack here. Let's you, see, let's crack it. You know, ethereal is one of those words I learned in Diablo 2 for items that can't be repaired, but typically do more damage because you can't repair them mm. eventually. Yeah. But I always thought that it was a Diablo term, not like a word. Not like a word, yeah, yeah it's for like, just it's like, like holy it's like, things. Right, yeah, it's yeah. Like ethereal. Yeah. yeah. Satadal, so Knackle, the Knackle, the Twaycoco, the Watchroll, the Dendra, the Raichu, the Palisand, the Shrudel, the Palmy, and the Tinkaton. It's just going to be a single point pack, unfortunately. Oh, I think it's our first of the day. That is eight points on the season for Ethereal Squirrel, but they do get a big, big hammer Tinkaton. There we go. Enjoy. Drop the hammer. I feel like we've been in a dry spell here, so I feel like this. Let's uh, see it. Mysterious. Stevios with the, uh, is this Meowscarada? That's Meowscarada, yeah. Oh. See, it feels right, doesn't it? Does, it? it does feel right. All right, they've got six points coming into the day. All right, let's see here. Oh, oh okay, man, look at that. Meowscarada pack and the grass. Here we go. The super rods. Snover the scores. The Snover scores twice, Oh, it actually. does, you're yes. right. The Fletchling, the Gotharita, the Calamitous Wasteland, the Primate. Actually, it scores, is it worth four? This, it'll be, let's see, it'll be worth one for chase card, one for um, Random grass, person. and then that'll be multiplied times two. So it is worth four. Yeah, yeah there we go. That's okay. crazy. So here your energy retrieval. Oh, oh, the Gotharita! That's an amazing pull! Oh, okay. with the low kicks! This, oh, okay, so this is a crazy pack. So this is gonna be one, two, three, four, 
before the Gotham. Yeah, yeah, we won't. We'll do. We'll do this last. Okay. So on the two, multiplier. Let's see. Two thirteen on the set for the Gotham. That's a cool card. Let's see. Two thirteen. Two dollars and nineteen cents. Uh, so, so rounds up to three. So three, four, five, six, seven times two is fourteen. Fourteen. Yes. I there agree. we go. Oh wait, 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 Ben. What's up? This is a critical hit. Look, the Gotharita's right there too. <gasps> this hasn't happened all season, but there it is. But they have the same. Okay, here's They're the, the rule though. Yeah, because yeah. because very frequently you'll see that we have two different ones. But what you're looking for is to see whether or not they have the same attacks. Yeah, because and they occasionally, do. yeah. Okay, so they do. So this so is the a, same card. So it's the same card. So it's a four times. So it's a four multiplier. times multiplier. So twenty eight points. So twenty eight points. Whoa, Mysterio. Well, we said Mysterio, so it might pull something big, didn't we? We did. We did need. I'm pretty sure this is going to disrupt oh, it quality will. eighth place it as does, well. It does because they're up to thirty four points. So thirty four, which, which means is going that... to knock Beck Squad into eighth place. Oh my oh, gosh, Becky, Becky Borst. Wow. Furious. Furious. <laughs> there we go, Mysterio. So with the four times multiplier, I'd oh, love to see it. On the only time all season we've had an illustrator art critical hit. Goodness gracious. That is amazing. I'm so glad you caught it because I, I would have missed it. I know. I was like, let me just double check here. Man, that's the first time we've seen the Gothel Rita all season too. Great bag, Mysterio. So that was insane. Wow. So there you go. Beck Squad into eighth. Can she hold on? We're about to find out. We're about to find out. We are. All right, next up is 0 4 12. Let's see. They've got 10 points. So maybe a four point pack for them would be a... Uh, Something to be on the lookout for to get up to that 14 mark. There we go, yep, 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 yep. Let's see, we've got the Lightning Energy, the Tinka Tink, the Shrewd, the Glimmit, the Bramblin will score, the Gothitelle, the Arctabac, the Jacomo, the Frag, Frigoraph, Kilowattro does not score, and oh, the Mimikyu, Mimikyu will. So okay. just two, only got halfway there, I'm afraid, for 12 on the season. Oh, that's a bummer. That's a bummer. That's, that's a too bummer. bad. So close. So close indeed. And yet so far away. Indeed. All right, next up we have got Sydney, who is coming into the day with nine points. So they are still in contention. Maybe looking for a five point pack. Five point pack. And of course, at this point in time, we've got enough people tied for Big Steve that we will have to go to, we'll have to roll the tape for that total rare card value. That we will. Um, all right, so we got the Eyeball Energy, the Tad Bulb, the Frigibax, the Tandem Mouse, the Toddle, the Electrode, the Grafii, the Pink Urchin, the Great Ball will not score, the Love Disc, was there a Love Disc? No, there was not, okay. will not score, and the, the Garnacle. Oh, so just, just a, a single, single point. point. For 10 on the season for Sydney. Darn. Man, man. Darn. People are just dancing around the big Steve Smoke. We haven't had any new contenders for it yet all day, though. I know, not one. All right, Monkey Bacon with seven points, so they're looking for seven more. Can they match their season total? It's amazing, like, when we get to this stage of the race, like, which which competition is, like, the most highly coveted. I know, right? So this one, I mean, it feels like Big Steve and Quality Eight are the ones that you could really uh, still affect here. Teardrop Energy, we've got Slowpoke, Litleo, Rockroth, Palmy, the Pelipper, Pelipper scores. Yep. Fletchinder, Vigoroth, Makuihita, Mabastif does not score, and Spirit Tomb will score. That is going to be <sighs> two points, unfortunately not enough. Just nine on the season for the father-son team of Monkey Bacon. You see anybody running this this past weekend? I was running it myself. Against yeah. Me? Yeah, yeah, against yeah. me. Ended up in a draw. Unfortunately, let me tell you what, even with Path to the Peak and Spear Tomb in play, they got down to like five cards left in deck. I don't know, like, it's insane how good they are at drawing cards. But, because that's exactly what it's supposed to stop. But that's what I was saying too. I know, right? Anyway, anyway. Joe Cathan, I believe, is one of our uh, bottom plays contenders, although I think Maybe with two packs and three out. points, yeah, I believe so. I think Colored Cow's got it for you there. So at this point, you'd love to see somebody who's been hanging out at the bottom of the leaderboard just Go accelerate big. all the way up to the top. Yeah, so let's, let's see. Let's see if we can see another Mysterious energy. Can someone pull the Iono and just like ruin Carly's day? Wingull, the Pineco, the, Pineco, the Mousehold, the Tinkertuff, the Palmo, the Fletchling, the Clavel, and the, the Backscalibur. Backscalibur. Man, the Backscalibur line has been all over the place today. That's just two points for Joe Cathan for five on the season. Bam, oh, this is uh, Joe Cathan, who's an English teacher and uses Pokemon cards as prizes. For that is awesome. For students. Very cool. Wish my teachers had done that. I probably would have tried a lot harder. Yeah, that, school. That oh. helped. Okay, here we go. We have Sierra Cawthorn, who... A surprise uh, re returner. returner player, return player. So just a single pack here on the season, um, which means basically they're looking for the Iono. 
Oh, yep, yep, sorry about oh, that. Oh, there we uh, go. We got the Rockus Pummeling here. We got the Rockus Pummeling, yep. We got the Voltorb, the Clavel, the Noibat, the Sprigatito, but the wrong, wrong one. But it'll still score for type advantage. The Grusha, the Miss Magus, the Bramble Gas will, will score, the, the Larvitar will not, the Luminous Energy, and the, and the Pikachu! Pikachu! Second Pikachu on the day. Uh, and I can't remember what it was. I think it wasn't anything super crazy, but let's just double check for safety. Number 63, $1.09, so two so points, so four, four total on the pack. pack. And uh, four overall for Sierra. There we go. Welcome back to the game. Yeah, yeah. Next on the table, we have Jazzy J. Truther. Welcome. Welcome back. All right. Uh, we have 10 points on the... <laughs> ben is not happy to see you. Unfortunately, I'm very happy to see you. We've got 10 points on the table for Jazzy J. Truther. Uh, let's see. Can they get another four points? Their first pack this season was worth four points. No favoritism here. No favoritism. I mean, I don't know how I could show much favoritism. Let's see. Bam. Eyeball energy. Nothing, mm -hmm. nothing fancy bit. there. Fletchling, oh, yeah, yeah. Voltorb, Clavel, the Tropius, yeah, the Iono, no. the Knackle Stack, the Corvus Quad. Oh, oh, a critical hit on the Iono. What is this? This is madness. What's crazy is that if the bat card could be an Iono too, that'd be insane. I guess it could be. But I, I mean, guess like it's it. very oh, unlikely. No. <laughs> <laughs> the Bramblin and the Mimikyu. So critical hit on the Iono. So let's see, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Times two is 14. 14 points. Goodness freaking wow. gracious. And From once Jazz again, Dre somebody Truther. pulled the, the reverse hollow. So yeah, very impressive. What, what does that bring their total to? 24. 20. So they're not playing spoiler for Beck Squad just yet, Beck Squad. Breathes a sigh of relief. I mean, to critical hit on the Iono of all cards. Of all wow. cards, I know. That just never happens. Can you imagine if it had been the big one? I mean, that would have skyrocketed them to like 200 or something. Yeah, I don't even know what that would have done. It's I like my brain know. can't even like consolidate that math. <laughs> I know, like, how would that go? Like, what even is 100 times two? <laughs> <laughs> oh man, next up we have Krasara. All right, let's see Krasara. Let's Has see what we can do for you. Four points on the season. <clears throat> it feels like it feels like the pack itself feels like thick, thick plastic. You think so? Yeah, All yeah, right, let's see. Extra, extra sturdy pack there. So let's mm. see if it's if it's holding something special inside. We got the Fireball Energy, the Knackley, the Fuecoco, the Watchroll, the Tinkatink, the Zwilus, the Mousehold, the Satitan, the Luxio, the Diana will not score, and the Baxcalibers. The Baxcalibers so. are everywhere today, man. They truly, truly are, and I Look guess that out. extra thick pack was for nothing. For not. For not. There Although I do go. think that the Baxcalibur is regarded as one of the more highly, or more frequently purchased cards. No doubt about that. Wins the, the mean award, right? The, the mode. Mode? mode. The mode award, I could be. Board. Yeah. All right, next up we have Megan K, who is another, uh, I guess, might be our next best contender for first place here. They have 21 points on the season. Okay, yep, 21 points. So currently came into the day in 22nd place overall. Okay, so Megan K could really play spoiler for Beck Squad here. Yeah. With a, what, a 10 point pack, basically? Yeah, so let's see, Megan K, 21 points. Uh, Beck Squad currently has 31, sitting in quality eighth place. So All yeah, right, yeah. Beck Squad, they did didn't pull the type advantage. Let's see the Meryl, the Mankey, the Delibird, Super Odd, Gotharita, Honchcrow, Calamitous Wasteland. No, nothing yet. Something and oh, the Slowking! I don't think that's going to be enough for 10 points. I think it's probably going to be good for about one. Yeah, 86 cents on number 86 yep. on the set. I'm there pretty sure we, we pulled that go. one before because I remember that happening. 22 um, points on the season for Megan K. Very solid. And even though they only got one point, they are taking home a nice full art or a yes, EX card there with the slow king. Yeah, there we go. So still something to enjoy. To, you know, frame, take a picture with. So you're going to get one you point. Picture. <laughs> <laughs> Next up is Heather Lynn, who has six points on the season. <clears throat> Looking for an eight point pack here or something massive. All right, all right. Let's nice see it, let's breath. see it, I got know. The teardrop energy, we got the Quaxley, right. the Char Cadet. I uh, got the Relore, Relore which will score the Tadbolt, the Superior Energy Retrieval, the Pseudo Wudo, the Pelipper will score, the Artisan will not score, the Calamitous Wasteland will not score, and the Bosses, Bosses Order. So just a three point pack. That makes all three packs for Heather Lynn this season. Three points for a total of nine. Three, three, three. Three point pack, back to back to back. Roll that beautiful animation. All right, next up we have Goddess Princess, who has six points on the season. And if we get through this entire season without pulling a single card, 
A single I oh no. I know. I'm gonna be, does, I can't believe it. It feels like it really starts to like just dampen your your belief. Like, cause I mean, who opens this many packs? I know. The like ho the Hop will score. Oh, you're right. The Hop Ip does score. The Whooper does not. The Noi about the Jet. The Fighting LA. The Quacks. Well, the Therapeutic. Oh, the Illustrator Miascarada. That is an awesome card. That's gonna be some big points there for Goddess Princess, followed by the Hariyama. Hariyama. So we'll see number two fifty six. Very cool. Let's see what that does for us. Number 256 on the set. It's going to be 14.67, $14.67, 14 so 15 points. 16, 17 point pack. Oh my gosh, but does it disrupt that like top leaderboard, unfortunately? It but does a not. really great card to pull. 23 on the season. Beck Squad dodges another big pack. They are just like matrixing I know. this situation. Right, just, just imagine. Slow motion. Yeah, very impressive. Very yeah. impressive. Uh, but either which way, that Meow Scarada, super cool. Very, way. very awesome. Well done, Goddess Princess. Great way to finish the season. Next up is Crafty, Crafty Chick. Chick. Crafty Chick with four points. Let's see what they got. Can they land a 10 point pack here? Let's see what <coughs> we got. Okay, the metal energy. energy. Okay, we got the Shrudel, the Glimmit, the Bramblin will score, the Shinx, the Corviknight, the Dunsparce, the Pupitar, the Dunsparce. Dunsparce. Wow, not the Gothita and the, the Abama Snow. Snow. So, so three. three point pack there. Yeah, that's going to be seven on the season for Crafty Chick. Well, there you go. So close to the critical hit on the Dunsparce there, but alas, not there. Oh, next up is Drawing Hearts. Got to draw my customary heart for their pull there. There we go. There we go. Uh, they have got eight points on the season, so they're still in it uh, for a Big Steve and or spoiler. Quality eighth place is Beck Squad Mears Victory with I think eight packs to go. There we go, Dark Teardrop. We've got the Love Disc, the Snowbird. Snowbird's we'll worth score. two, yep. Worth two, Fletchling, Voltorb, Primate, Grusha, Miss Magus, Murkrow, Faulkner and low kicks is worth two. So, so four points. Four point pack. Because the uh, the snow over there is a randomly chosen common chase card. So that's going to bring you to twelve on the season, so as it were. Narrowly missing out narrowly on big missing Steve. Out on the big Steve got a couple of fun little extra point modifiers there. Not enough. Next up is Berkeley Comstock. Berkeley Comstock. Let's see it. I feel like I feel like something big is still to happen. Still to happen. All right. Jay's got the vote of confidence. We got the Lightning Bolt Energy, the Frigibax, the Tandem Mouse, the Satoddle, the Knackley, the Fletchinder, the Toxicroak, the Aronguru, the Therapeutic Energy will not score. The Tandem Mouse. Oh, is that critical hit? Critical hit! Yay! Yeah, and the Veluza. So wow. unfortunately, it only Just gets you two, two points. points. Despite less, the critical hit. Man, that's less points than they got in their other packs. Oh my gosh. Jeez, you hate oh, that. You that get is... the critical hit and for nothing. Just ever so slightly disfortunate. I know, I know. Some people, they get that eight times multiplier on something big. Woo! All right, next up we have seven points for Karen. Karen! Coming into the day. So what are they looking for here? Seven, seven more, yeah, yeah. that's yeah. exactly. Well, seven times two, I got it. I'm mathing real good right now. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. It's like, you know, when you're trying to keep all these rules in your head at the same time, it's really easy to make excuses for why you're bad at math. Combi, Glimmit, Frigibax again, Candibouse, Mabostiff, Sigoro, Ferrigiraffe, Delivery Drone, not another Meryl, and the, the Noivern EX. I haven't seen that in a while. That's a new one. All right, yeah, what do we got right, for Noivern? Number 153 on the set. <clears throat> let's see. Do, 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 do. 152, $1.06. Okay, so um, it's just a two point card, plus the combi is going to be three. That is going to be 10 on the season for Karen. Man, no one today has landed at 14 to uh, contend Big Steve. We'll see what we'll see what happens. Yep. Getting close here. We are getting close. Uh, we've got a solid five packs left. Five packs left. Here we go. You guys are just coming excellent. down to the finishing line. We have got Anselman. Anselman. He's got five points on the season. Okay. Boy, you can just tell, you can feel Carly like sweating it out on the couch. You can just know Beck Squad is like, just, 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 just end the game. End, end the game. The game. You're, it's like in the fourth quarter, you're just like, just, just run the clock. It's out. like you're just up, you're up by nine, out. you know? It's right. like, come on, come on. It's like, that's, that's just too much. It's too close. 
All right, we got the nimble, nimble. will score. The Moschiff, the Slack Off, the Wooper, the Faulkner, the Survivor. I mean, dark. a lot of dark. Yeah, that's Tyroar, the Mankey, Mankey a little bit of work, the, the Tinker Tinker Tuff, and, and the Oricorio. So just a two-point pack. Kind of a dreadfully boring two-point pack at that. I can Oric only Oreo. imagine what it feels like if you are, in fact, back squatting Carly right now, just I sitting know, there, I just know. like every pack is like relief, and then it starts all over again. Right, right, right. right. <laughs> like, could it be, could the next one be the one? One. Let's see, we have got Xander up next. Uh, they have got 17 points on the season, so I guess this might be our, our yet again, our next best placed person to do something about Carly. But is it enough? They don't have any sort of multiplier yet. The Clavel, the Dunsparce, the Noibat, the it's wrong Sprigatito will we'll score. Yeah, Bramblegast right. scores. Superior Energy Retrieval, Pseudo Wudo, Rookity, the Luminous Energy, and the T-Tar. Oh man, man. of, of the, the family Tyranitar town. <laughs> right, yes, exactly. Gonna finish the season with 20 points, so one more person fails to break 31 Come for the on. season. Let's see, Jacob like Worganess, only five points on the season so far. Gonna need something big to get over 31. I'm not gonna lie, dude, I, I'm, start, I'm personally starting to get a bit nervous here. I think so, we've yeah. got three packs left on the season. All righty, let's see what we got here. We got the eyeball energy. We got the Fue Coco, the Watchroll, the Tinkatink, the Shrudel, the Electro, the Vigoroth, the Pink Urchin. I'm not missing. Oh, I know, yeah. The Frigibax will score. Oh, the, the Tinkatink, it is a critical hit. It is a critical hit. And it's something, and oh, the arm. Fortress. I want to say the Fortress isn't very good though. It's not very good, it's a front oh, page no, or a one dollar and one cent. Oh, so. no, it's good rounding. Good so rounding. It's two times two is four points. Oh man. You're really pulling four points out of essentially nowhere a otherwise. A chance for, for uh, spoilerness. They did pull a critical hit. Man, we are making them work for it, but only nine on the season. That's gonna tie their total from last season. Which honestly, they had they had two seasons. They went their first season three points, season four three points, and then five and six have both been at nine points. So uh, we should have if we're if we're continuing this trend, I believe the next two seasons will be twenty seven points. <laughs> yeah, I think that's the way it works. Yeah, that's how it works. That's how. That's um, exciting for you. I know that's that's linear math. Linear math. <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> All right. Next up, we have Akron guy with five points on the season. Last two packs. Let's see. Can some magic happen? Come on, come on. Bam. Like, oh, here we go. Last here we go. And okay, okay, okay. The good one. The good one. Okay, so we've already got the randomly chosen comics. Four points card. on oh, the okay. board. They got the, the nimble. Exactly. The nimble. The Zwilus. The, the Spinox. What is going the on? The, the Vespa Quinn. The Arctobax and the Cerule Edge. I mean, it has blades for arms, which is about as cool as you can get. That's going to be one, two, three, four. Five, six times, times two, two is 12. 12 points. Oh, oh my goodness. gosh. Unfortunately, that means they land at 17. Man, can you imagine what it is like being, I feel like Mech Squad in particular is just sitting there like, are you kidding? Another critical hit, another multiplier. Here we go, guys. This is our last chance for some sort of magic. We have three packs left and only one contender. This is Cal, who has five points on the season. So all we're looking for here is either nine, a nine point pack, yep. over 31, or the massive Iono. Which is basically like the which only- Which is the game, which that would win the game. So oh. can there be a last second shot? It's a multiplier. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Wow. You can't plan this stuff. You can't plan it. This last, is the last- Last pack of the season. Last pack, the here we go. The Super Rod, the Love Disc, the, the Snow Girl, Girl score twice. Score. That's gonna be a four points the right Zoom there. Rail, the Zoomerel, the Vespa Quinn. Quinn. The Ice Q, the, the Jump Buff will score twice, twice, the Shinx, and the, the Sableye. So I think, wow, so it's gonna be one, two, three, four, five, six times two is another 12 point pack multiplier. Oh my oh, gosh, wow. but not enough to shake anything not down. Enough. Wow, they both got the multiplier and landed at 17. That's wild for Cal, which I believe means we can officially name Carly as the season champion with 97 points. Beck Squad is going to finish in eighth place with 31 points, and the Big Steve Award is going to go to Elizabeth H. And I'm pretty sure in last place, we can confirm Collared Cow. Oh my gosh, what a wow. season 
Uh, congratulations, everybody. I cannot believe the number of packs that we opened. We got two I left. Know, I think wanna, actually we have we have like five left over here. Okay, just left over. Let me just grab those. Let's just These let's just chairs. see let's what just, could have been. Let, what could have been? Because we opened <clears throat> so many packs, and to not pull Magikarp or Iono is just it's, absolutely it's wild. Like it's just what could have been. What could have been? What could have been? What is it possible <clears throat> that somebody out there could have had the card? We're just gonna run through without worrying about anything other than the rare cards, the Clavel. Oh, oh the there was a skeleton there. out there. That's okay, not too okay. bad. Okay, so that's that's a that's a little that's a fun little win ski for oh, us. Here we go. This could this was another that would have been a snover. That would have been Fletching, Voltorb, Clavel, Dunspar, Passimian, Corbinite, Orangaro, Tinkatuff, Gyarados. So okay. another multiplier with a Jace card, but not we enough. Keep the Gyarados down here so we can show what what all got left. Yep. So these get these guys were left on the table. All right, we got that. Oh my oh, gosh, the there. number of grass energy in this episode. <laughs> that could be The Murkrow would not score, the Tandem House would not score, and the, the Hydrogen. Okay, okay, so, so that's another, pretty, another pretty, would be pack. A bit of a dud. Let's see it. I can't believe. I know, it's so frustrating. Oh my gosh, what is happening? So many chances. The Baku Heat, the Big Gert, the Diana, the Patrick Arthur, the Tinket of the Bravery, Charm, the Gothard, the Jump, Plot, the Electrode, the Wochian. So okay. that, that could have been, uh, that's probably not very much though. So like a four point pack, yeah. Or the Jump the Plot jump would, have would have been, yeah. Like an eight point pack maybe. All yeah. right, let's see, last pack. This is. This would have been, yeah. yeah. Otherwise, otherwise our true last pack here for Paul Day Evolved. Okay. There's no way we're getting both. There's no way. Well, no, that's not true. Well, is it? I don't know. It feels pretty unlikely. It feels pretty unlikely. There's feels no way. Unlikely. There's no way. Meryl, Mankey, Delibird, Super Rod, Farafterig, Zwilus, the Spide Ops, the Wooper would not score the Reversal Energy, and a Tinkaton. Wow, we Man. could not pull the Carp or the I don't know all season to across save our 12, life. 11 boxes and four ETBs. Nada. <sighs> Wow, well, congratulations to all of our podium champions this season. Uh, Carly, you are getting a full Paul Day Evolved booster box. Our other three champions are getting their own ETBs. Best of luck. Please let us know if you get the Carp or the Iono because we certainly couldn't do it here in house. I know, I know. And I mean, look, this is not even counting the packs that we've opened just oh, for yeah. our own collecting purposes, which, yeah. is, which is which numerous. Is so it's just, it's just unbelievable. I cannot, I can't can't believe everything we've been through and, and never never pulled it in the end but either which way the great news is is that next month is 151 yes it's it is that i have literally been asking for since the start of our pokemon collecting yes i'm so excited to just like have all pokemon that i know through and through it's going to be amazing and beautiful and glorious and i suspect there'll be some really solid values last time we did the one month season with crown zenith i think we had record numbers and that was just for one one pack, pack yeah um so be sure to check it out if you want to grab one of those last last that is available. It's over at patreon.com slash super hard on gaming. There's a link to that in the description down below. As ever, if it is full and you would like to join the wait list, we will also let you know if a spot ever does become available. But otherwise, guys, until next time. Hariyama! Oh, I missed it. I'm ready to the finish line. Yeah. Wow. Well, I'm gonna try it again. Three, two, one. Hariyama! <laughs>